I'm here back with another video and in today's video we're gonna reopen an Asus laptop. This is Asus gaming laptop. The model is an FX505D model. And in this video uh, we're gonna open it up and we're gonna repaste and clean up the whole uh, cooling system. I'm gonna take you step by step on how to do it so you can do this at home while you... Alright, first thing first, before we start you need few tools. Tool number one, you need a screwdriver set. I use the iFixit tool set as they have all the bits that you need. We're gonna be using Phillips number zero from this tool set. You will need an opening tool. This tool set includes a pro version which they give you an opening tools and many other stuff. But my preferred opening tool is a guitar pick, a metallic one with the soft edges. First thing first, let's start flipping over the laptop, make sure it's powered off completely. And now we're going to start removing uh, two sets of screws. The front end of the laptop has uh, four screws. These are the short one, including the middle screw right here. So go ahead and remove the middle screw and the front end of the laptop screw. These are the short end and these are the same size and height. Now next, the side screws and the four screws at the back end of the laptop, these are the longest screws. Again, they're the same size. So go ahead and remove these ones. Also, I only see a few of my viewers subscribe to my channel. It would be really nice to see people subscribing if you find my content helpful. I always try to answer the comments and take requests from you guys. If you find it helpful, click the like button at least. I appreciate it. Once we remove the, all the screws, all you need to do to open up the laptop a little bit, 45 degrees. Now you want to stick this guitar pick starting from one corner right to the inside there. You see this gap that opened? You want to stick it down, you want to wiggle around, work yourself through, take your time. You want to do the front end, do the sides. You want to pop this cover up. I'm just sticking it between the top and the bottom cover. Okay, once you have it there, you can go wiggle it around a little bit. I forgot a screw right here. So let's try. There we go. Now you can just lift, simply lift it up and it will come out pretty easy. So go ahead and clean up all this and dust over here. I don't know why they did this. They didn't they cover all the ventilation here. They only left a little bit in the middle and a little bit over there, which this one is being covered by this plastic over here. So if you check one of those alien wares or different brands, they actually have a nice ventilation on the bottom case. On this side they have all these markings, but there's nothing is pressed. So alright, down here we got the two fans and the cooling system right there. Before we start, we need to disconnect the battery. To disconnect the battery, you need to pull this uh, jack backward towards the battery. So I'm putting my fingers right by this white uh, jack right there and then pulling it backward. So now it's disconnected. So I'll leave it there. What we need to do here, we need to remove the two screws for the fan right here on the right side. Remove two screws or three screws for the left one, one right there. The and one in the corner. Okay, this one only has two screws. All right. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna remove the four screws for the heat the uh, CPU on the X clamp, and we're gonna remove the four screws. There's a warranty label right here on this screw, so you have to break that warranty label. Also, remember on this end, there's a, this tape. You have to remove the tape. There's a Wi-Fi cables that go right here. You wanna move them over. Now we can go gently, pick up the heat sink, lift it up from the middle, and 
bring it up. There we go. So there's your heatsink. You see the thermal paste is really dried up and the fans are really dirty so we're gonna need to clean up the fans so try to disconnect the fan let's remove this nvme hard drive right here so unscrew this M screw right there and then just pull out the drive now we can access the Fan right there so unhook the fan we do need to clean up the fan because it's really dirty use an old toothbrush or new toothbrush remove the other fan again so i'm gonna take these ones outside i'm gonna clean it up and i'll be back now that we clean up the fans i used an air duster i'll leave the link in the description for the air duster that i use it's really powerful and I, it's much better than the air cans that you can buy outside. All right, now we're gonna clean up the heat sink by grabbing a work shell towel and 95 or 98 percent isopropylic alcohol. So you're just gonna spray this one, damp it in there, and start cleaning up the heat sink. I'm not gonna remove the thermal gels. These are the thermal gels that they have. Don't remove the thermal gel leave them the way it is you don't need to replace them you can replace the thermal you can clean up the thermal gels and replace them with a 0.3 millimeters thermal pads but you don't actually need to replace these ones as they don't heat up in that much and they can last you a much longer time now that we clean up the CPU and the GPU dies and we clean up the fan right here. Alright, so what are we going to do right now? Uh, we're going to press, put the fans in place. Plug in the jack. Alright, run the cable right there. And put the other fan right here. Run the cable for this fan, just like that. Now, and there's a trick on this heat sink. You see this decoloration on the heat sink, and there's a layer of uh, oxidization right here. To clean these ones up, uh, I use a copper or silver solution cleaning solution. You can get these ones on uh, any jewelry where they say jewelry so dab it in there a little bit and then start cleaning it up this will clean up the copper really good so you get the true copper right there so do a nice run right there now you see the difference Now you're gonna grab your thermal paste. I use the MX4, Arctic MX4. We're gonna drop a tiny line on the GPU from the top to the bottom. And we're gonna do a drop right on the CPU. And there we have it. Now we're gonna bring it over. Actually, I lift up the jack for the Wi Fi, they just come out really easy. So put the heat sink straight down. Once you put it down, don't lift it up. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and put the 80 screws for the X clamp on the heat sink. Always cross screw them, always go to one corner. Then do the next corner. The screws are the same size for the GPU and the CPU. So don't worry about mismatching those screws. Alright, go ahead and put the three screws for the left fan by the GPU. 
and put the two screws on the right fan run the cable for the LCD again it keeps coming out and plug in the Wi-Fi cables for the on the left side all right put the tape over you can use a new tape this tape is already gone so grab a scotch 33 plus these are the super 33 plus they are heat resistance so just cut a new one all right grab the nvme drive in 45 degree angle put it in all the way in bring it down make sure the notch on the corner by the screw matches the screw hole and then you just want to screw it down i don't recommend you guys putting this shield on top if you remove it the air is going to actually touch the nvme is going to cool it down better but if you want to go ahead and put it if you don't if you want to but I'm just gonna leave it like that and pretty much we are done here so what we're gonna do we're gonna grab the jack and we're gonna slide it right underneath and we're gonna push it toward the motherboard okay and the last thing would be to just grab the bottom cover bring it over set it down obviously not upside down and push it down on the sides push down on the back the front make sure you hit those clicks and pretty much we are done remember the longest screws goes on the back end of the laptop and on the sides and the short one goes in the middle and on the front end of the laptop again i hope you guys like this video and it helped you guys out if it did please click that thumbs up button and if you have any question or requests leave them in the comment area and i'll try to answer them as soon as i can thank you for watching guys and i'll see you guys in my next video